We are close to the end of our Lenten journey, but we are not through praying attention. And if you remember, we are talking about stillness this week. And if you're anything like me, sometimes it can be hard to find that still, small place. It's so much easier if I'm inside a fort that I make on a rainy, stormy day, or even enclosed in a nice, cozy chair where I feel safe and contained. But life has a lot going on these days. And in the midst of it all, we can find that center, that quiet stillness, even in the midst of a swirl of energy. The end of the day feels a little bit like that for me. Though my brain wants to keep going and thinking about all the things, it's helpful to remember that we can let ourselves be still in the presence of God. And we can do that together. Here's one of my favorite prayers. Maybe you'd like to join me in praying it at night as you turn towards your pillow and give thanks for the ways that God has been with you in the day. It's a prayer from the New Zealand prayer book, and I'll read it for you now. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. As we continue through Holy Week and look towards the new joys, the new dawns, and the new possibilities of God's risen life at Easter, I hope that we'll have chances to pray and to play, to pay attention and pray attention with you. See you soon.